when you're talking to my men, my men that are lacking uh, dads, the most important thing a man can have or a woman in this life is a dad. I'm convinced of that. I mean, it's just something to tell you guys. You guys that don't have a dad, I know you're hurting, man. I know you're in pain. You're always gonna be in pain, man. I already know, but there's no, there's no solution to this. You're always gonna be flawed, man. You're always gonna feel like you don't belong. You always feel like you're looking from the outside. Like no matter how much people want you to come in, like they want you to belong because some people want you to feel that because they feel bad for you. No matter who does that, you're never gonna feel in. You're always gonna be from the outside looking in because you're resenting, you're angry, but you don't understand why. And when you look to your mom for leadership, for that love that you miss, what you end up doing is becoming angry and resentful. And you don't understand why. And you take it out on her and you start slamming and you become violent. And then you don't want to be home no more because your home is destroyed. And you're not programmed to deal with that. You're just a child, so you leave. You hit the streets. You meet a nigga that's older. You meet another nigga that's older. The nigga show you love. Now you're looking for that manly companionship that your biological needs, that you need biologically. You're looking for it and other niggas that didn't have that. But since they're older and stronger and have the respect and and, and, and and that void that you just can't find anywhere, they become your role models. And we're talking about some gun, gun towing niggas, depending on where you're born. Therefore, they become your example. And the change starts. You love these niggas. You back away from your family and they become your truth. They become your niggas. They become everything. They become everything you do. They become your heart. They become your set. They become your brothers. And in that way, you separate yourself from the populace. And you're that breed of man. Us, without dads, we're that breed of man. We're the gangsters. We're the soldiers. We're the sexy men. We're the bad boys. We're the ones that women want to have sex with but not ties down. We're the ones women cheat on their mans with. We're the ones that get heartbroken. We're the ones that get praised when we're young but shit it on once we hit our 30s. We're flawed. We're flawed, man. And it's okay to be flawed. But you must understand it and you must cope with it. And don't think that if you become a millionaire or you have financial success or success in the military or success anywhere else, that you're feeling flawed and inadequate is ever going to go away. It can go away. It is not programmed for it to go away. But embrace it. Embrace it. We're here for a reason. We have to suffer. We suffer the most. We unbalance things. And we, most of us die poor. You're six times more likely to die poor, go to jail, repeat jail, beat on your spouse, have a criminal record, join a gang when you don't have a dad. We need to man up and understand what we are, who we are, and understand that we have a long, long uphill battle against us. There's gonna be so much war put in front of us, and maybe we die poor. But if we die understanding this, and not complaining, and every day we do something to change it, we will cause other people to be inspired by us, by us just being around. If we're here for something, let's be here for inspiration, guys.